Looking at the teams now, the South Melbourne uh, lineup is unchanged. The same team that beat uh, Heidelberg 4-2 in the Australian Conference, or rather the National Conference final. Sydney Olympic makes one change. Marshall Soka, number nine, coming into the team to replace Nick Theodorakopoulos, number 16, who's on the bench. And there's the kickoff. Doug Rennie of Sydney, a referee. And Carl Holford picking out for South Melbourne in the midfield. Oscar Crino gets his first touch, but it's played out by Anji Postacoglu, the left back. Peter Kafolos taking it. Floated in, headed down, and Kusas. 1-0 to Olympic. Mark Kusas, the scorer. And that goal came in uh, only the fifth minute of play. Typical of Kusas, right on the spot. There it is, headed down by Dacos. And uh, Sopa was in front of uh, Lormitz as Kusas put it in. These Similar sort of goal to the one that Kusa scored. Blair up very high. Mayo got uh, his hands to it, but there's Egan, number nine, putting it away. 1-1. One, one. Oscar Crino on the ball, flicks it on for Brown. He takes his shot, but it's too high. Not by much. sounds now leaving the score at South Melbourne one Sydney Olympic one <laughs> Raskopoulos Davidson Egan giving chase Egan lobs it and puts it away. 2-1 for South Melbourne Hellas. Charlie Egan's second goal. And he's 11 for the season. Brilliantly taken. There he is, lobbing the ball over Meyer, who had come out of his area to meet him. We are the champions, says the flag. Theodora Coppolis underneath that one, but headed away by Russell. Murphy. Davidson flicks it on for Carino, but out comes Dacos. Davidson again for Carino. Murphy in the middle. Davidson. Davidson inside the box. Can he get a shot in? No, but it's a corner. Some fine off the ball running from Alan Davidson. Doug Brown's corner. Up they go. Blair just passed. Steve Blair is so dangerous coming up for these corners. Go. 
Dacos. There's the final whistle. South Melbourne has won the first leg of the national soccer final. 2-1 the scoreline. South Melbourne has deserved to win this game. Now it's up to the second leg in Melbourne on Sunday at St George Stadium. The Olympics coach Manfred Schaefer shows two changes from the team that lost 2-1 midweek in Melbourne. Out goes Jimmy Batikas, he's out through injury. Mark Kusas moves to the substitutes bench. The players coming in, Chris Kalanzis, who's 17 and a half years old, he scored nine goals this season. The other player coming into the starting lineup is Nick Theodore Acopolis, who's also scored nine this season. The Sydney Olympic, they're trying to break a record today, it's all the hoodoo. They haven't beaten a Melbourne side this season. Two losses to Melbourne, Croatia, and of course Wednesday night's loss to South Melbourne. South Melbourne coach Lynn McKendry names an unchanged side from the side that did so well on Wednesday night. Basically, it's the team that's won the Australian National Conference table this season. And this basic lineup has only lost six matches. The danger man, of course, at Sydney Olympic is Charlie Egan. He scored a couple on Wednesday night, which brought his total to 11 for 1984. Our referee on match of the day for the second week running is Chris Bambridge from Melbourne. At South Melbourne, get us underway. They're kicking from right to left in the first half. South Melbourne in their all chain strip of all white. Murphy's on the near post. Brown swings this one across. Murphy just touching it on Eisendorn. Phillips. Crino. Oscar Crino. South Melbourne take the lead after nine minutes. South Melbourne supporters, jubilant on the far side. Oscar Crino's a scorer, but it all started with a corner from Dougie Brown. And Murphy there made a good run off the near post. Eisendorn shot his charge down, goes across goal, and there's Oscar Crino past Gary Meyer. Sydney Olympic nil, South Melbourne one. That one slipped through his hands that uh, he emitted afterwards, crossed the goal line. Brown. Brown again. That came off a of Dacos. And away for a corner. So Tony Dacos, the youngster, has had such a fine season for Olympic. And he will be under pressure this afternoon from Dougie Brown and Charlie Egan. Two noted goal scorers. It's Dougie Brown who's got across to take the corner. So many variations on the corner kick. Into a few goals this season. As Eisendorn makes it 2 0. And again, it was from the corner. Celebrations now on the South Melbourne bench. 17 minutes gone. But it was the corner from Dougie Brown, the header from John Eisendorn. They've got so many variations on these corner kicks. And Eisendorn here gets a free header, gives Gary Meyer no chance. And 19 minutes gone. Sydney Olympic nil, South Melbourne two. South Melbourne now leading 4-1 on aggregate. The Sydney Olympic have come back with some important matches this season. An all team lost. They really have got a tall order now this afternoon. Now Soper. Maybe we can get Olympic back into this match. It's Marshall Soper and he's won a corner. Again, Cody and Dacos have come forward. Swing this one across. Helmets comes, drops it now. Dacos. Cody couldn't get his head to it. Walked away there by Eisendorn. So John Eisendorn, his sixth goal of the season, which has certainly caused problems now for that man, Manfred Schaefer. The Forest leaves the throw in for Gary Phillips. They're being held back by Alan Davison as he was waiting for the ball to come across now. Roscopoulos. Theodore Acopoulos and the head is just over. Nick Theodore Acopoulos has managed nine goals this season. 
Skopolis. Then Holford. Now Cody. Dacos. Follis. Dacos. Colantis. Still Chris Colantis. Theodora Coppolis. Theodora Coppolis gets Olympic some hope for the goal that came after 32 minutes. For Nick Theodora Coppolis, goal number 10 of the season. But what a magnificent build up from Olympic. There were some lovely touches here. The first one came from Mike Cody. Then Dacos, then Kafalas, all one touch stuff. Dacos again, Kalantis, and it's Chris Kalantis who gets it across. Again, a first time touch. Nick Theodora Kopoulos gives the keeper no chance. Sydney Olympic one, South Melbourne two. So Olympic, we've got to score a couple of goals to force this match into extra time. They trial 4-2 on aggregate. Incidentally, they've never beaten South Melbourne here in Sydney. All the time the National League's been going since 1977. In fact, they've only beaten them once. And that was back in 1982 in Melbourne. So Rogers. Olympic again in good support from this very big crowd. Our umbrellas are now the order of the day. Rogers was back for Olympic and now Jennings. Dacos. Theodora Coppolis. Now Sopa. Still Marshall Sopa. Saved there by Lomitz. And away for a corner. But there were so many let offs there for South Melbourne. Lomitz there saves the final shot from that man, Marshall Sopa. The Olympic fans giving their team so much support this afternoon as his corner comes across, away there by Bobby Russell. Now Raskopoulos. Still Raskopoulos. Give that one hard and low, away by Russell. Sopa! Just over the top there from Marshall Sopa. Drama here at the St George Stadium. Always seems to happen whenever Marshall Sopa gets involved in the match. Good play here though from Raskopoulos. Very well cleared. Sober has a snapshot, but over the top. Sydney Olympic will finish second in the Australian Conference. Get their way through in the Premiership. Now Jennings. Good save there by Lomitz. But Graham Jennings, who doesn't score many goals, really. 2-1 was the half-time scoreline. There's been no goals in the second half. Now watch now, we've played 30 seconds of stoppage time as Cody comes forward for Olympic. Now Phillips, floating that one in. And Lomitz, again, celebrates his 150th match in the NSL for South Melbourne. With a good display of goalkeeping, good safe catch that time. What a way to celebrate your 150th match by winning the national championship. Cody, now Raskopoulos. As the final whistle goes, South Melbourne are the Australian champions for 1984, defeating Sydney Olympic here 2-1 to make it 4-2 on aggregate. The end of the 1984 season, South Melbourne are the Australian champions. The final scoreline, South Melbourne 2, Sydney Olympic 1, and now we cross to Les Murray. And there it is then, the championship for 1984 going to South Melbourne, and who can deny them the fact that they uh, deserved it? Over the two legs, 4-2 the aggregate to South Melbourne.